So this is that secret location I was telling you about, ladies and gentlemen. And for those of you who don't know what this place is right here, this is the Silver Ball Museum Arcade here in Asbury Park, New Jersey. Now, besides the Pinball Hall of Fame, which is located in Las Vegas, this place is nothing to sneeze at, everybody. This establishment holds over 140 vintage pinball machines, dating back all the way to 1932, all the way up to the early 2000s, and also has about 10 to about 14 vintage arcade games. Now, I'm going to go through an entire, and I mean an entire thorough tour of this establishment. So this is gonna be broken up into parts. So for those who wanna uh, check it out, feel free to keep checking out the updates here as I'm filming, but if not, you know, definitely come. So is that time, everybody? We're gonna check out the Silver Bowl Museum Arcade. As soon as you come in, you got a few little kitty rides over here. Uh, you know, just to kill some time for them as you're having some fun in here. Now, this is definitely a cool place. You know, they got food up in here. Of course, this is on the Jersey Shore. So, and like I said, it's pretty, uh, the prices are pretty simple. You know, you get the express pass, one hour pass, two hour pass, daily reentry, all that good stuff. So, let's uh, take a peek inside here. As soon as you come in, definitely check out this cool little uh, Elvis little uh, memento here. A lot of these don't know. So of course when you come in, you can see the new machine they have here is the Wizard of Oz. Of course we're going to start off all the way here to 1990's Williams Funhouse. We got the uh, Guns N' Roses pinball machine from Data East. Definitely cool how they uh, did a lot of the artwork for this on the uh, play field itself. Speaking of Elvis, when we uh, came in here, Elvis even has his own pinball machine that was done by Stern in 2004. Of course, he got the Stern's uh, Simpsons, well, made by Stern, uh, Simpsons Pinball Party. And of course, you know, you couldn't be in Jersey and not have the Sopranos pinball machine made by Stern in 2005. And you got the Shadow and uh, Williams uh, White Water made in 1993. And you got Red and Ted here. Definitely a playoff of Funhouse. You can see it definitely uh, the same people who made it by Williams. And you got Doctor Who. Then Demolition Man, which is uh, one of my guilty pleasures I used to play when I was a kid. And definitely some unique controls they actually have here too. Because you guys got, you got the guns right here. And next off is Scared Stiff with your host Elvira, Mistress of the Dark. And this actually came out in 1996 by Williams as well. And uh, three classic machines that have really no major explanation for. Over here you got the Twilight Zone, Adam's Family, and Indiana Jones. And these are all made by Williams, of course, in 93 and 94. And you got the Bally's Attack from Mars. And you got Theater of Magic. And I know Mame Kid actually has this in his house. But he uh, actually modded his. Of course, next off here, you got the awesome Pembot made by Williams. And this is one of those other games I used to play a lot when I was a kid back in the day. Then we're gonna go a little more throwback here, people. You got uh, Black Knight by Williams made in 1980. A simple play field, but freaking challenging. Then you got Flash. Made by Williams from 79. And of course, one of my favorites, I used to play a lot when I was a kid, and that is Evil Knievel, which is made in 1977 by Bally. And of course, by Williams, you have Knight Rider, and not the Knight Rider you were thinking of. Of 
course, you got eight ball. And come on, you can't tell me this is not reek of happy days. And next off here, you got Cyclone by Williams, which was made back in 1988. You see right there. Definitely a uh, kooky looking table that they made here. And next off, you have Genie. Which I noticed on this uh, specific table is actually a lot wider compared to a lot of the other pinball tables that were made at the time back in 1979. Sorry for the glare there, people. Just wanted to show you some of the uh, artwork here. It's really, really uh, they did a fabulous job on that. And of course here in 1980, only uh, close to 3,000 of these were ever made. And they were all sold together in Chicago, and that is Ali. Made by Stern. Very simplistic. A very fun game. And of course, here we have Spectrum, made by Bally in 1981. And this one here, people, is very near and dear to my heart. One of uh, the first bands I ever got to listen to and see when I was a kid. And uh, it's, it came out a year before I got to see Kiss. And that is the KISS pinball game made from Bally in 1979. We get a little risque here. <laughs> and this is uh, Bally's Playboy, which is made in 1978. Now some of the back last year is actually kind of funny. As you notice, you got the uh, young lady and the old spinster right there. Kind of almost topless. But yeah, <laughs> go figure. You know, things had to be marketed. And of course here from Valley in 1978, we have Silver Ball Mania. So there's a couple of machines here I wanted to show you people, not necessarily arcade nor pinball, but Definitely cool to check out. Now the first one here is Super Checks. Now this is basically, uh, you know, kind of a foosball kind of a game, except it's with uh, hockey. And you know, basically the same deal as when you go here, you just gotta shoot over to the goal, and there you go. You know, back in the day uh, when Playland used to have this, I would play this quite a bit here. And uh, this next machine over here is a uh, basketball made by Crown. Now, the unique thing about this game is, you can see there's a bunch of holes with the numbers. And as you can see, uh, depending on which side you're on, uh, say if you're on the red side, you would have to hit, say, number three or four. As it depends on the number you're uh, shooting it at, you would basically have to get it right in there. And of course, you get the point. Uh, it's a very unique game, but I say you don't know the year that it came out. But this is definitely something that's near and dear to me, and that is Ski Ball. Now, of course, and these are really freaking old. Uh, I'll just show you here. I'll show you how bad I'm at this. So, you know, ski ball, take the ball, roll it up. And that's ski ball for you right there. Now you would think this is just a basic old pinball machine, huh? Well, what does that tell you? What does this tell you? What does that tell you? Basically, this is Flying Turns from Midway back in 1963. Now, the way you can see a lot of the play field here, uh, depending on what targets you hit, your car, you have these two cars here, they're gonna have to basically try to fight each other depending on you know if you're a one player or two. And over here is XO, OXO, or OXO, whichever you want to call it. Uh, this is made basically in 1973 by Williams. Now the unique thing here, here is, on this play field, ladies and gentlemen, you have X's and O's, it's almost like you're playing tic-tac-toe, but you're also playing pinball as well. It's a very unique game. Uh, I just wanted to show you that one, and of course here, this is from 1962, and this is Trade Wings. And this is one of those real old school electromechanical uh, pinball machines right here. And of course here, one of my favorites, a lot of people talk about is a classic from 1979, and that is Gorgar by Williams. 
Now I know a couple of people, I know uh, Crow111 has this, if I'm not mistaken, and even uh, Chuck from Recycle Gamer has this machine, and it's amazing. It's got a synthesized speech. You know, it's an awesome freaking play field. The back glass is amazing. 